So the question is the catapult is used to launch a ball such that it strikes the wall of the building at the maximum height. So maximum height it gives an another indirect information that if you see if you have a projectile and you have thrown it to maximum height it comes down and then at maximum height you know at every instant the the vy the vy and vx you see initial velocity is v a but at the, at the maximum height the vy component becomes zero vx remains same okay vy becomes zero that's the information indirectly given so when you see information for y maximum height it means the y component of the velocity is zero indirectly this is an important point which will help us to find out some unknowns and it takes about five, 1.5 seconds to travel from, look, from A location to B location. And B location is located at the maximum height, okay? Then it, it hits the wall at location B. You have to find out, you have to find out this velocity. <coughs> VA, okay? And, uh, you have to also find out the angle of release or the initial projectile angle and you have to also find out the height <coughs> from this level so let's do this i would say this information is provided the x distance or the range of the projectile is provided and i i have told you many times that for the range the formula you should start from the distance formula do you remember x equal to x in this case, it is starting point is A, so X A, V A, X times T. And acceleration, half A T square, this goes to zero, since we know that the velocity at any location, this is constant. So I'm just re reviewing your old uh, lecture so that you should know wh why is this formula like this. So X B is given. Can you tell me in the diagram can you tell me what is XB? 18 feet. So it is in uh, 18 feet, and this is not the SI system. This is the FPS system <coughs> or USCS system. XA is to be uh, considered to be zero. This is the origin. Uh, it can be moved down, but let's assume for this case, um, we can for take this A as an origin, and VA cosine theta times T. T over here is given. If you closely look, it is given. And this is an important uh, equation. We have two unknowns, okay? So we need another equation to find out the second unknown. So let's find out the second unknown. So I would look for this final velocity. If you see the formula for the final velocity in the y direction, if you remember, final velocity equals to initial velocity minus gt assuming the positive is upward therefore i put the negative sign which means the gravity is going down gravity is towards the center of earth so that's why i used negative sign for finding the final velocity this is another equation which will help me to find out two unknowns which are va and theta so let's use this equation what is on the left hand side what do you remember it is maximum height so what should i write down on the left hand side Zero, agreed? So we, oh, we already knew that zero is on the left hand side. V, A, Y, let's uh, resolve it. This is sine theta. Correct me if I do some mistake, you can help your professor. So 32.2, okay, G in FPS is 32.2 feet per second square and 1.5. So this is the second equation. Now we are happy because we have two unknowns, two equations. If the number of unknowns are equal to number of equations, we can find out two simultaneous equations. <coughs> okay, so let's form from one, equation one, that we can find out VA equals to 18 over cosine theta, I would say 1.5, and you can plug it in over here, and you can find out theta. And we can do it, um, you can check. If you do the math, you can find out 
let's do it now. Let me uh, solve it for you. So if I do it, um, <coughs> so if I do it like uh, 18 over 18 over 1.5. So if I do the math for 18 over 1.5, this is 12. So I can make this easy uh, for you guys. So I'm going to plug in 12 over like 12 tan theta because over cosine theta is 10 tan theta. It is equal to this is nothing. Okay, this is nothing on the. I just brought in on the left hand side and make it simple. So 32.2. Let's do it. 32.2 times 1.5. Oh, uh, this is equal to 48.3. Agreed. Now 48.3. Now we have to find out theta tangent inverse. 48.3 divided by 12. So let's do the math for this one. So I got 76 degrees, the angle of release. Do you get the same? Can you verify from your calculator and help your professor? And on the other hand, if I do the math for VA, 12 divided by cosine 76, it is 49.2. Six. The initial velocity comes out to be, let me check, is it 49.6? Do you agree with me? So now we have found both the angle, which is, uh, which is 76 degree, and we have found the velocity. Now let's find out what is the uh, height. So if I use the distance formula, you can use two equations. I'll let you know later on. Let's use initial, the distance equation, yb. Assuming my, assume I, this, this is my origin. So if I take this origin, so let's assume this is a new height because in the question it says that the height, co maximum height starts from the floor. Let's assume h1, which is the origin. You can do it other way around, but let's do this way. So what is uh, yb? So yb equals to ya, ya plus vay t minus half gt square. Now you will help me y a, yb, yb equals to yb equals to h1. And this is zero plus V A this is one half. So if you do the math here, you you can help your professor, but let's do it together. Forty nine point six <coughs> point six is the velocity times sine seventy six times 1.5 uh, times 1.5 minus uh, 32.2 divided by 2 times 1.5 square. So that is equal to 35.96. And you remember it is the origin, but there is a floor height. So 3.5. The catapult is about 3.5 feet above the floor. So you have to add for finding the h. So let me do the math here. So h equals to h1 plus the height of catapult is 3.5 feet. So can you add 3.5 feet? What do you guys get for that one? 36, it's about 39.7. So this is your solution. You can also find out the same. Although we have finished the question, I wanna show you another method to find out the height of the, project, height of the projectile with a different equation. So you remember there was an equation V final velocity square, initial velocity square minus 2g delta s. So if I plug in, if I plug in for y direction, you have to always take the y component. If you do this equation to apply for y direction, you have to use for y component. So vb y square vA 
y square 2g h minus 0 the maximum high so let's do this way so what is v a this is 0 because in it, the y velocity at maximum high becomes 0 I, I mentioned earlier so 76 uh, sine 70 why am I saying? this is what uh, for uh, 49.6 so I will write down uh, 49.6 times 76 whole square minus 2 32.2 times h so if you find h from here you should get 39.7 I will leave it to you for homework or you can do it now